Pete and Hannah's watch list. I'm your host, Pete Mitchell. I'm here with my great co-host, Hannah! Hello, people. Hannah, we're here today for movie news. Movie news. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Clickbait. Yes, yes. Clickbait headlines. Great times. Yeah, yeah. But before we begin, uh-huh. let us tell the viewers and the listeners what they should do. Pretty please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Any of your feedback, good or bad. What movies you're checking out this week? You know. Let us know. Hit the notification button and you'll get great content like this one, including We Interrupt Regular Program, where I reviewed the last episode of Sympathizer. Mm-hmm. And What's Next, the show where we help you figure out what to watch next. And we reviewed Furiosa and Atlas. Yes. Ooh. <laughs> Tomorrow on the channel, AFI Top 100 Revisited. Uh huh. In the Heat of the Night. Yes. But on today's show, it is movie news. Clickbait. Ooh-ha. Hannah, we are continuing our look at cinema experiences. Yeah. Now, so far, we rated... Seats. Seats. And the okay. best seat was... Reading cinema. Reading. Then, we rated... Popcorn. Popcorn. And the best popcorn was United Cinemas. Cinema. And we partaked in some of that the other night. Mm, yeah. That was good. Good stuff. Are you happy with that choice? Yeah. Yeah. Good times. Good value. So tonight... That's important. ...on too. the cinema experience, today on yes, the yes. cinema experience, we're going to talk about choc tops. Yeah. That's what we call them in Australia. Like the ice yeah, cream. the ice cream you'd get with it. <laughs> now... <laughs> it's a very much a big thing here. Yeah. Okay. People that don't get rated here are Hoyts and Event. Because their choc tops are well, just Buller ice creams. Yes, they used to have their they own. They used to have their own, but now well, they're like, ice creams. They're just down the bottom. Nope, 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 nope. They used to, and they used to be good, when, weren't they? Yep. Okay. Number five. Five. Dendy. Dendy, really, yeah. Yeah, good ice cream. Really? Yeah, good ice cream. Wow. Uh, they used to be bigger. They got a little bit smaller. Mm, they did. But still good. Oh, wow. And Dendy. You have a little engine that could. Australian owned cinema train. Good on you, Dandy. Yeah. Four. Reading. Yeah. Okay. Now, wow. Not a big one for a Reading choc top. They're okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. But I'll tell you what I'm big for at Reading. And I'm like, Event does these too. Connoisseurs. Mm, I love a connoisseur. Yeah, okay. But that's not a choc top. But it's not a choc top. But they do, I will say, they do partake and try and do like special movie event choc tops as well. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah. Always interesting. That's number four. Number three is uh, New Star Cinemas slash uh, New Farm. Yeah, yeah, slash, yeah. Um, Red Hill. Five, five star. Five star. Yeah, yeah five yeah. star cinema. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 Good. Yeah. I now this is a good opportunity before we get to the top two is to talk about uh, what makes a good chop top. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now halfway through, let's go. You you gotta have a crispy bottom. Yeah, the the coat the the Cone. yeah crispy. It's gotta be crispy. Triangle. It cannot be song. It doesn't have to be triangle. It doesn't oh. and it can't be soggy. Yeah, true. Key key. The the chocolate on top can't be too hard, but it can't <laughs> be too soft. It has to be just yeah, that's right. right. Okay, got me. And then the ice cream has to be delectable and not that freezer burn as a key. Yeah, I know. That's key. Now. That's why some of them are, are of hand like scooped. Poisonberry. Yeah. A lot of people like mint. Yeah. A lot of people like caramel, chocolate, just vanilla. Mm-hmm. Whatever you float your boat. But I'm going to tell you about two, my two top ones, and yes. these are top ones. Yeah. Number two, I've parked at this in many times. It's vanilla with peanuts on them. Yeah. And that's at United Cinemas. Yeah. Colorado. At Eldo. Yeah. yeah. Whew, that's a good ice cream. Yeah. Good ice cream. It- now they've got many flavors there. But I keep going back to the, like, it's just, it's like that uh, when you go Mr. Whippy and when the chocolate. Oh, in the, yes. In yes. The, the, the nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, good stuff. Well done. So, um, so far, you know, it's been first and second. Yeah. Yeah. Well, seats, <laughs> it, seats were rated too. So, yeah. you know, I was right up there. But the number one ice cream is the salted macadamia nut ice cream. Ooh. From Palace yeah. Cinemas. Yeah, oh you're a fiend. Oh, you, you're a fiend. Oh, and 
And when I eat it, it goes everywhere. Yeah. It is, yeah, the classic. It is. The shirt eats it too. Well, you know. Yeah. The, the shirt's hungry sometimes, hey? Oh, yeah. The shirt's hungry sometimes. Uh, when I go there, I do not miss an opportunity to have the salted caramel. Yeah. Now, I've been told by reliable sources that the mint mint one is pretty good there too. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah. Poison berry, also good. Poison berry, yeah. But macadamia nuts. Yeah, well, I I know for a fact, like, those last two are hand-scooped. I think the Reading ones, they're trying to go for hand-scooping instead. Like, yeah. a lot of these, a lot of the chains are starting to realize, oh, no, it's just better to just hand-scoop yeah. and do them fresh. Yeah. Do a couple fresh do, every day. Yeah. Because I know it's easier just to get a mass market of them, but, you know. No, no, it's... it's you, they don't taste the same. Yeah, you got you got to have a little love here. <laughs> the love. The love. The yeah. love of the Choctaw. Uh, you're not a real big ice cream girl at the movies. No, I... I'm, I always offer. Uh, yeah, no, it's, it's, it's because I'm at the movies. I can't see where I'm eating. Mm. If something did fall, like, it's yeah. Doom. It's Doom City. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I don't want to get a mess while I'm... In pitch black darkness. <laughs> that is our top five choc tops. Now let us know what your favorite ice cream is at the cinema, or if you don't like ice cream, tell us something you know you would like. What's the substitute? Yeah. Yeah. What's the substitute? Uh, let us go over to my favorite segment, Hannah, and movie news. To movie news this week. Do you hate Mondays? Do you love lasagna? And is sarcasm your first language? Well. You'd vibe well with this cat in the movie. The Garfield movie, of course. It's about sweet Garfield. He gets reunited with his long-lost father, but his father turns out to be a crook and needs Garfield's help to rob some places. With a voice cast like Chris Pratt as Garfield, uh, Samuel L. Jackson as Garfield's father, and people like Vin Rames and Snoop Dogg, we're in for a treat this cinema week. That is what we'll be watching. Leave a comment down below what you'll be seeing. And until next week, bye. Thanks, Hannah. Clickbait headlines time. And the biggest headline of all is cinema's dying. Okay. That is all you keep reading. Now, I want everyone just to take a chill. Okay. People are not going to the movies at the moment. But there are many myriad reasons why this is happening. Yeah. Personally, I think the movies are what we're getting are good. No, they've been good. Yeah. No, the think, last couple of big hitters have been good. I just think good. it's really expensive to go to the movies for it's people super. to, you know. A family of four, yeah. it's very well, expensive. We're lucky, right? We're two single people with disposable income that like going to the movies, and we don't do anything else. Like, we just go to the movies. Yeah, we, we buy yeah. physical media. We, we just we, go to the movies. That's what <laughs> yeah. we do. That's our lot in life. You know, I play a little bit of golf, just to know a little bit about me. But, you know, I do that once a week, and then I go to the movies a couple of times a week. Yeah. You know, so, look, w- not everyone can go to the movies a couple hundred times a year. Yeah. We know that. And the majority of people only go twice a year. We just need to get that to four times a year for everyone, yeah. and then movies will be fine. Yeah. I think it's just, it, it, it's getting to a point, yeah, the pricing is just crazy. It, you, to buy it for four tickets, that's like twenty ticket, $20 each. And then and then food and drink. We're looking at like a hundred, a hundred and twenty. Yeah, for by, a family. Yeah, yeah, for a family of four. And then not only that, you're you going in a lot of these movies, the ones that people talk about are the ones that are IP, like people know, people respect, like a sequel. Yeah. Like the m- biggest movies of last year were Barbie and Oppenheimer, due to the meme status. I would say Oppenheimer got up there. But Barbie Barbie is literally like everyone knows Barbie. Uh, minions, minions, did exactly. minions. Yes, because Minions Two is a yeah. sequel to a very popular franchise 100%. of Minions. Yeah, and so it's you think. Um, and do you think another reason is we talked about it yesterday on the theatrical window? Like the theatrical was so small, it's small. People just wait till they go home. Uh, like uh, it, you can uh, rent it for twenty bucks. Yeah, at home. it's yeah, it's crazy because a lot more movies are doing that. No, that like, uh, like streaming takes over so quickly yeah. too. Like, well, we've tried, we've tried to look at um, because my championship belt holder this year is Civil War, and I try to look at uh, sessions to go see Civil War again. And yeah. It's really hard to do. There's like one, one or two sessions a week. No, no, that there, there's the fact that um, like it's just 
not really like people don't know what movies they actually want to go see like yeah. together especially how every the movies this like year have been laid out yeah. like fall guy would have been a perfect valentine's day movie yeah like i don't know why you had bob miley and madam webb on on valentine's day well, you, because you know what everyone saw <laughs> just saw anyone bite you again because it was a better yeah. it's a rom-com on a well, on a valentine's day thing, uh normally like Bullet Train came out late August, early September. That that normally is that fill period. The fill you know? period, yeah. But like last year, John Wick Chapter Four, it came out in early March. Yeah, you know, like uh, that's. I think we that would have been a, a good time for Fall Guy too. You know? Yeah, uh, not only that, it's just we're getting a lot. Uh, we we'll, we'll get a period of where one movie a week, and they're not like the big releases. No. And then we're getting some of the biggest movies. Like we're getting yeah. Twisters, and then a week after we get Wolverine and Deadpool. Well, don't like you it's think that's that too much. And, and Four Guy were back to back. Yeah, and not and a they're very after, different movies. Yeah, but Civil War, and then both, a couple weeks before that, both, was too. I will say another thing is that they're projected to do well, and everyone has this false sense: oh, it's going to do well. I'll see it later, or it'll do well. I don't need to. A couple you know. weeks later, it's being taken down cinemas. Yeah, yeah. so it's crazy. I, yeah, there's just a lot to say when it comes to subject, but everyone just needs to calm down. Just go see a movie and it'll be all fine. Let it cook. Well. Yeah. Did you say let it go? Let it, let it cook. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is it for Clip Dad. Headlines. Uh, yeah, it's, it's the only thing that everyone, you're reading all the articles over the weekend, how cinema's dead. Because the Furious are not making, you know, over forty million dollars. Calm down. Like, a, this is a slow burn. It's a, it's a post-apocalyptic movie. Like, yeah. Calm down. Like, no, everyone loves a Mad yeah. Max. Yeah. And like, I know Chris Hemsworth to be the star, but Anya Taylor Joy's not a huge star at the moment. Like, she's going to be. Calm down. I mean, well, calm have down. you se- okay, okay. <laughs> have you seen the menu? Yes, I have multiple. But also, times. she's a, she's a, the face of Dior as well at the moment. Okay. She's, yeah. Yeah. Well, is, is that is that makes it a box office anyway? I see her uh, face all the time. <laughs> I love her. Uh, next week on the channel is Garfield. Rewow. Is that is that it? Is that all we get? Um, out we we finally get Garfield. It was already released. I believe it was already in the states. Um, stream movies or there might be. Uh, but a lot of it, all of the stream movies, I it's find next week. It is we, Hitman. We get Hitman next week. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I think it's a week up. Mm, I think it's a week. That's next week. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's a lot of, sure. I've been noticing with streaming movies is that we'll get them like, we won't know if something's coming out yeah. and then it just drops. Yeah. I, I so. Like Atlas, we didn't know last week and then it just dropped on a Friday. It, it's in, it's always in the list of like, oh, movies yeah. to wait for yeah. and then suddenly it's just, yeah. bam, it's there. Oh, well, that is it for today's show. Thank you to my lovely co-host, Hannah. Uh, long live cinema. Don't forget tomorrow, AFI Top 100 in the heat of the night. You can catch it on SBS On Demand in Australia. You can also catch it on Apple TV. You can rent it as well. Yeah. That is it for today's show. Thank you for everyone. For those YouTube viewers, stick around for the answer to can you guess the movie? And until we catch up soon, it's bye for now. Bye. Can you guess the movie? And the answer is? Guardians of the Galaxy. God, Hannah, you're on a roll Volume at the moment. Volume 1. You're on a roll at the moment. Oh, wow. You're killing it. And Hello. why did we do that? Uh, Chris Pratt is the star of Garfield. Wow. Voice of the great Garfield. Yeah. Nicholas Holt plays, um, 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 what's his name? John. John, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I don't know anything about this movie. Oh, <laughs> Oh, wow. You're... I haven't even seen a trailer. Oh, I know things about this movie. Uh, great. Oh, wow. You is know... it a full cartoon or is it live full action? Full cartoon, full cartoon. It's because the last one was live action, wasn't it? There was two of them. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tale of Two Kitties. Yes. I remember yes. that. Yes. One of the I greatest films. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll catch you next week on Can You Get Some Movie.